interviews usually started at around midnight or two am and it lasted until six am and i have applied to about almost two hundred programs i just want to be at a hospital which teaches me to be the most competent doctor that i can be i really hope to get a job hey everyone it's jj and for those who don't know me i'm a fourth year medical student applying for internships and residency this year i thought i'd make this video because not many people know about the process of how medical students apply for residencies aka how doctors or medical students apply for their first jobs and i didn't know until I got to medical school, so I thought I'd explain the whole process. So intern year slash residency is a training program for doctors in every specialty, and it trains doctors how to eventually practice by themselves so that when they finish residency, they can see patients on their own and they can treat them and diagnose them. Now residency can range from three to seven years, and each year you get more responsibilities so that by the time you graduate residency, you're able to practice by yourself as a doctor. And this whole process from applying to getting accepted is called the match. It's called the match because you end up at one hospital that you work at for three to seven years in a specialty that you want. I believe every doctor has to go through this process of applying in order to work as a doctor in the US. And the whole process takes about six months from applying to getting accepted. So it's a really long process. So the match starts in September where you submit your application. And your application has things like your grades, your transcript, your extracurriculars, your research, and all the hard work that you've put into medical school for the past four years. You also have to write a personal statement that kind of includes something like your life story, why you chose that specialty, and basically explain your strengths and why the residency program should pick you over the thousands of applicants. You also include a few letters of recommendations with the doctors that you've worked with. Usually you include letters from doctors that you work with clinically so that they can talk about how well you work uh, in clinical settings like the hospital and basically talk about how you're with patients, which is what you'll be doing in residency. But you can also add letters from research departments, like from the research mentors who you've worked with who can talk about what kind of research you've done and you know how passionate you're in research and so on and the application has the list of all the hospitals with residency programs so you basically get to tick off the residency programs that you want to apply to and i've applied to about almost 200 programs which is a bit on the excessive side but i thought it would be better safe than sorry because i really hope to get a job and the application is kind of like the common app which you use to apply to colleges in the US and once you submit your application just pray that you get interviews because that's the next step in the match and from October to January that's when you do your interviews now interviews are online this year so I've been doing my interviews over zoom rather than in person and interviews can last anywhere from two hours to six hours you know it contains things like introduction about the program resident meet and greet so that the people who are working right now as residents can talk about the residency program and tell you about the strengths and weaknesses what they like and didn't like and you also have two to four interview sessions with usually doctors from the residency program and these interviewers can ask you things like why did you choose this specialty tell me about your strength tell me about your weakness tell me about a time where you struggled and you overcame that or tell me about your research I remember someone asked me to describe an ethical scenario in the hospital and what I did in that setting. So they can basically ask you any questions. So I was in Korea during interview season. So the time difference from the US to Korea was difficult. Interviews usually started at around midnight or 2 a.m. and it lasted until 6 a.m. So sometimes my brain would shut off um, during the interviews and I've had to resuscitate my brain with coffee or energy drinks so that I stay alive throughout the interview process. And in this period, some interviews are quite casual, like they just want to know who you are as a person, what you like to do, what are my interests, etc. Someone asked me what my favorite board game was. so. That's something casual, but sometimes uh, the interviews are more serious. So they ask about my medical school achievements. What was the biggest accomplishment you've made in medical school? Or what was a time in medical school in which you failed? So depending on the interviewer and the scenario, you gotta know how to answer and you gotta adapt to all these different settings. And in February, that's when you submit your rank list. So by then you've done all your interviews and you rank the list of programs that you interviewed at 
in descending order. so for example, if i had ten interviews, i can rank from one to ten and every hospital will also submit their rank list in descending order. so for example, if i rank this hospital number one as my number one hospital and this hospital didn't rank me, then i wouldn't get this hospital. so i'll move down to my number two hospital. and if hospital number two takes ten residents per year, let's say i was their eleventh ranked person and the top ten people matched at hospital two, then i won't be able to match at hospital number two and I move on to hospital number three. and let's say for hospital number three, I was ranked uh, number 21, but the 20 people above me, let's say, matched at their higher choice options, so it moves down the list and I get matched with hospital three. so that's the complicated process of matching and that's when the algorithm goes beep, 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 and you get placed into one hospital. and if you want to know more about it, I think you should watch Med School Insider's uh, video about matching because they explain really well over there and it's a serious process because um, it's a binding contract so once you match into this program then you have to go to this program for three to seven years so if i had from the 10 programs i really didn't like the two programs then i shouldn't put that on my rank list because i don't want to end up at those two programs but thankfully i've liked all my interviews so i'll be ranking them and hopefully end up at one of them the algorithm and the match is quite complicated but it's designed to help maximize filling spots for um, residency programs so it's supposed to be good for the applicants and the hospitals and when you're done with all that match day is in march uh, match day is a day in which you find out what hospital that you match at for the next three to seven years so it's a really big event uh, in medical school it's actually the most exciting and most emotional events throughout four years of medical school uh, you get a little envelope on match day which contains where you're gonna be for residency and you get up in front of the podium telling everyone where you match and where you're gonna be going and you get to see the hard work that you've put into come into fruition hopefully match day goes really well for me and my friends because we've worked really hard to get to this place and where we are now and the match only happens once a year so unfortunately if you don't match then you can apply again next year it's also a frightening and nerve-wracking time because you don't know where you're gonna end up for the next three to seven years you could end up in ohio kentucky new york california and you have to settle in the new place possibly in a place where you don't know anyone and you have to start training there but for me looking at things positively i just want to be at a hospital which i can get the best medical training which teaches me to be the most competent doctor that i can be and right now i'm just hoping to get a job so i'll be really thankful for any residency program that sees my value and accepts me. so the match is a long process that medical students and doctors go through to start their intern year slash residency but the process is really interesting because it's not like traditional jobs or traditional application. i hope you found the process interesting and best of luck to those who are applying for the match and good luck to me too of course. i hope this helped. bye bye bye!